What's up everybody, Tony here with High Tech Check, and today we're going to be taking a look at Rinky's Privacy Tempered Glass Screen Protector, as well as some of their cases for the brand new Galaxy S23 Plus. Now I will be putting a link in the description in case you guys want to pick up any of these cases and screen protectors yourself, and if you guys like me and you want to support my channel, please use those links because it helps me keep purchasing products to review for you guys. So you're definitely going to want to stick around till the end of the video because I will be doing a scratch and a drop test for the tempered glass screen protector. So let's go ahead and get started. And here we have Rinky's Privacy Tempered Glass Screen Protector. So here we get a little installation guide, one screen protector, and your installation packet. So the first thing you're going to want to do is to take your guide. We're going to take off the top of it, exposing the little pins. Then you want to make sure the little pins are facing up towards you. And we're going to use the little side that looks like a little C. And we're going to press that into the bottom of our phone. Then we're going to clean the screen off. Then we're going to dry it off. Then you're going to want to take your screen protector. Pay close attention to these little holes at the bottom. We're going to put those over the little posts in the guide. So first you want to peel off the little protector on the underside of the screen. As you can see by this little tab, make sure it's on the underside of the protector. Just peel that off. Don't touch the underside of the screen protector. Then place those little holes over the guide. Just press those into place. And then just lay down your screen protector. Once it's down, just run your finger right up the middle and it should adhere to the screen. Once that's done, we want to peel up the tab from these little posts here. Then very carefully peel up the blue protector. And then you can remove the guide. And there we go. Perfect installation, no bubbles whatsoever. It also looks like it is case friendly because it has a nice gap all the way around the phone. It also has a little cutout for your camera so it's not gonna interfere with your, your pictures. As far as touch, super smooth, very nice. Just like the glass that's on the phone, touch seems to be working perfectly fine, very smooth. I also wanna turn up the brightness all the way up. Now we'll re-register our fingerprints. All right, so let's go ahead and test out our fingerprints. No problems there. Perfectly fine. Very nice. So no problems with fingerprints. As you can see, it's still pretty clear. It might dim the brightness down just a little bit because it is a privacy screen protector, but you can very easily still see what's on the screen. And then if we turn the screen to the side, you can't see anything, and then you can. That is so cool. <laughs> I love that so much. Okay, so now let's move on to the drop test. Starting off at two feet. We're gonna move up to three feet. Four feet. Five feet. Six feet. And it looks like six feet might have done it. Yep, six feet. So I'm definitely impressed with those drop test results. For six feet for a tempered glass screen protector that's a privacy screen, if you've watched any of my past best and worst videos, you'll know that I don't have very good luck with privacy screen protectors lasting probably more than three feet. So for six feet, definitely a plus. So let's move on to the scratch protection. So first we're gonna start off with the number five. Then we're gonna move on to the number six. Then a number seven. All right, so let's take a closer look. So as you can see, there's no scratches at the level five. There are a little deeper at a level six and even deeper than that at a level seven. And again, that's pretty much on par with other tempered glass screen protectors. So installation was really easy. Touch, 
very nice, works perfectly fine with the in-display fingerprint sensor. We have six feet for the drop protection and the scratch protection is, again, it's on par with other tempered glass screen protectors. So I would definitely recommend the screen protector if you want a privacy screen protector and I'm gonna give it a thumbs up. Screen protector installation, very nice. Everything seems to be working with touch. Fingerprint sensor works perfectly fine. Let's go ahead and put it in a case. So here we have the Rinky Fusion Clear case. You want to remove these inner, inner and outer stickers before you put your phone in. Very nice and crystal clear. It is surrounded by a nice rubbery material. It's got a nice hard back. Let's put our phone in here. Now as far as fingerprints goes, Seems to do a great job at fingerprint rejection. The little smudges that are on there, you can just very easily wipe away without any problems. Very nice. It does fit perfectly fine within this case and we still have a slight gap all the way around the phone. So it should work with other cases as well. But if we look at the side here, as you can see, it doesn't add a lot of bulk to the phone and it does have a slight raised edge on the top and the bottom for your screen protection. On the other side, we have our serrated power button, which is nice, and our volume buttons. We also have lanyard holes on each side. On the bottom here, we have our charging port and our speaker. On the back, crystal clear, so you can show off the color of your phone. Very nice. And it also has precise cutouts for all your cameras and your little LED. Now, as far as fingerprints goes on the back, I, I can't really see any. <laughs> Maybe if the phone was a little darker, but it looks crystal clear still to me. Very nice. Nice and grippy in the hand, so it's not going to just slip out. Buttons. Easily accessible, easily pressable. Nice and clicky. I like it. Very nice case. Not bad at all, and again, it works perfectly with the screen protector. And if you're wondering about wireless charging... No problems there either. And then here we have the Rinky Onyx case, one of my favorites. So here is the case itself. It's got a really cool texture and pattern on the back. It is also flimsy. It's not rigid at all. Goes on your phone very easily. Feels nice in the hand. It's got some texture on each side for grip. Very nice. Buttons. Very clicky, easily accessible, I like it. If we look at the side here, as you can see, it's got that nice texture for grip. We have our little lanyard holes. It also doesn't add a lot of bulk to the phone and it's got a raised edge around the top portion and sides of the phone as well as the bottom portion. Very nice for protection. If we look at the other side, as you can see, it's got that texture again our power button and our volume buttons on the bottom are cut out for our charging port and our speaker. And then again on the back, it's got that really cool feeling texture to it. Kind of like Braille. Then you have your cutouts for your cameras. If we look at the side here, you can see there is a slight recession to still protect those camera lenses as well. And if you're wondering about wireless charging, No problems there. And that is the Rinky Onyx case. I like it because it gives the phone protection, but it still keeps it nice and thin. And everything is really nice and clicky. I absolutely love that. And it fits perfectly well with the screen protector as well. And then here we have the Rinky Fusion X. And here is the case itself. It's got a nice hard plastic back surrounded by a soft rubber material. And you just wanna make sure you peel off these covers on the outside and the inside before you put your phone in. And there we go. Feels very nice in the hand. Buttons are very nice and clicky, easily findable. The reason I also like this case is because it offers some more protection, but still keeps the phone pretty thin. It's got some extra edge protection, just in case you happen to drop your phone and it hits that edge 
which I absolutely love. Again, it feels nice in the hand. If we look at the side here, you can see the extra protection in the edges. It also has a raised edge on the top and the bottom of the phone. We have our lanyard hole and that texture on the side for grip. On the other side, we have our lanyard hole, that texture, that serrated power button by itself feels really nice. You can easily find it. And the volume buttons are also kind of protruding out on an angle so you can easily find those as well. On the bottom, we have the cutout for our charging port and speaker. On the back, it's got that nice clear back to show off the color of your phone, as well as some kind of rubbery type stops on each corner. So when you put the phone on its back, it'll touch these rubber pieces instead of scratching up the back cover. Looks very cool. And it also has a nicer recession for those camera lenses so they won't get all damaged or scratched up. I absolutely love the Fusion X cases. And if you're wondering about wireless charging, no problems there either. And as you can see, it fits perfectly with their screen protector as well. And then here we have their Rinky Fusion case in a matte smoke black. So here is the case. It's got a nice hard backing surrounded by a nice rubbery material on the sides. It also has those protectors that you want to peel off before you put your phone in. So there it is on the phone. Feels nice in the hand, nice and grippy. Buttons. Nice and clicky, easily accessible. Very nice. If we look at the side here, as you can see, it shows off the color of your phone and that smoke black. It also has some raised edges on the top and the bottom of the case. Does not a lot of bulk to the phone either, which is nice. If we look at the other side, we have our lanyard hole, our power button, and our volume buttons. On the bottom, again, we have our cutout for our charging port and speaker. Now on the back, it's got that nice matte glass look feels so nice and smooth and it doesn't pick up any fingerprints either which i absolutely love so you can keep the the color of your phone looking really nice without all those smudges it also has a slight recession for your camera lenses as well but the main attraction is that matte back it's so nice absolutely love that they also make these cases in clear matte too and if you're wondering about wireless charging no problems there either. So that is the Fusion Matte case. And again, it fits perfectly with Rinky's privacy screen protector as well. So that is it for the Rinky Privacy Tempered Glass Screen Protector and their cases. Again, I will be putting a link in the description for all these products in case you guys want to pick them up yourself. And if you guys like me and you want to support my channel, please use those links because it helps me keep purchasing products to review to you guys. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that little notification bell to let you guys know when I put out new videos. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you have a great day and I'll see you in the next one. Later.